Also, do we uh, should we probably do it? Why all this Omnicron variant hoopla is just a bunch of nothing at this point, okay? And I must give a shout out to the South Park COVID TV movie for calling it, right? At the rate that we're reporting COVID, okay, apparently we'll be in paranoia mode for decades, apparently. Ah. So. Oh, Zempak here. So first, let me get this right out of the way. I'm not anti-vaccine or anything like that, all right? In fact, everything I have to say about the new COVID variant, okay, should be taken on the assumed knowledge that responsible people are already vaccinated and will continue to get the boosters whenever the government and scientists tell us to do so, right? Get your vaccine, please, unless you have a death wish and really want to die in a totally boring and lame kind of way, right? So just do it. However, oh man, we're almost two years into this pandemic timeline and I cannot believe how much reality has mirrored a parody show like South Park and its absurdity, right? Or at least how the news media approaches the subject, right? So I really must get my rant off with a few key points on how all this talk about any and all variants is completely pointless to the layman, to the average person at least, okay? Um, before I get to that, do subscribe, comment, like, and share, and all that social media nonsense. Or not. Or whatever. Because I trust that you are awesome enough to make your own life decisions. <laughs> so point number one. Uh, first of all, do, do you guys know what letter of the uh, alphabet is Omicron, by the way? On the Greek alphabet? Do you know? Because I certainly definitely did not know. Okay, Delta I've heard of. I think that's like the third or fourth letter. I had to look up Omicron. It's letter 15, okay? Wow. There's been this many variants of the virus in two years? What happened to the rest of the dozen or so, okay? Guess what? Nobody knows and nobody cares. Now, when a virus has had this many variants, right, it's pretty clear that, that means that we're gonna be in it for the long run as it's gonna keep evolving because somehow, it actually makes me feel safer that 15 variants have come and gone, and we've only really heard or talked about the two new ones, right? I assume the first one was alpha. Honestly, I'm not even sure if that's the case, right? This virus generally called COVID-19 because it started in the year 2019, but I know most of us didn't hear about it until at least spring of 2020, right? Sure. So was the one that we first uh, heard about the the OG, the original gangster alpha? Oh boy, I mean, this is a rabbit hole of information that I absolutely have no reason or inclination to go down on, okay? So just by the naming convention, I hope it doesn't scare you more, it should scare you less, okay? 15 in? I don't even know how many freaking letters are in the Greek alphabet, right? I hope it's more than in English, because I feel like we're gonna run out of letters soon. Point number two, now what effect has either of these named variants uh, have on social behavior at this point, right? I'm, I'm gonna use myself as an example, rather, uh, specifically about how it has effect, uh, affected my behavior, right? Yeah, uh, no, absolutely nothing is what the effect has been because my wife and I have been vaccinated, okay? We literally had our wedding during the height of the Delta surge. You know why? Because well, uh, we've already delayed uh, the date twice. If delayed any further, it wouldn't even be a wedding reception anymore, right? So, so, so what does this stand for? I mean, honestly, I think it really, my own experience just stands for, as, as, a, as a piece of evidence for locked on, a lockdown fatigue, right? I want to make it clear that we are relatively fearful people of the virus all throughout this period, right? But human beings cannot simply keep getting jerked back and forth on lockdowns and stay at home orders, okay? So we're doing, we're not really doing anything different anymore, right? We're cautious, but since we're vaccinated, we're also willing to just do regular stuff with masks in indoor areas, of course, all right? And when this new variant Omicron popped up, and guess what our response is? Nothing. Okay, we're continuing on our journey to slowly but surely edge back to normalcy, okay? We're actually traveling still, not unnecessarily much, but I even invited my parents over for Thanksgiving. Why? In the middle of, what, Delta, post-Delta search? We're just gonna keep having our lives again, okay? And I'm sure I'm not the only one, right? By the way, 
Do you know what the actual policy response is on the new uh, variants, aka the government response? Uh, haven't seen much. I know the USA actually recently for Omicron blocked traffic from some uh, African countries, despite the fact that those travel bans don't really work. Because Omicron is already uh, already here, right? This is the, the global economy that they're talking about. People are just traveling all over the place. If you, even if you stop people from coming in directly from Africa, it doesn't mean that they can't fly, you know, kind of around the world, you know? <laughs> I mean, as I previously stated, this is much to do about nothing, right? It's not the zombie apocalypse, right? And frankly, it's already in the country anyway. We all know that. So the travel ban's entire effect is just looking racist. Good job, El Presidente. I mean, hey, I still like you more than the orange douche, but in this aspect, oh my god, terrible response, all right? So finally, uh, who does the variant actually benefit? Hmm. Apparently, uh, to me, I think the clearest winners are the news media and the pharmaceutical companies, okay? That's really all that I can think of. Pharma companies, I can understand. This COVID thing is really turning into the flu, isn't it? We've got vaccines to protect it, but at this point, we also have some sort of pills to treat it afterwards, not to mention booster shots. At the rate of 15 variants per two years, I imagine we'll be getting booster shots for the rest of our lives. Wow, let's go pharma stocks, right? But you know what's worse? It's the mainstream news and how they handle it. Oh my god. Let's all freak out over nothing. Okay, the New York Times shows something like, oh, 14 day moving average going up a whole 15%. 100,000 a day infected. Uh, so what? Remember, over time, this disease is only ever going to become less and less deadly, right? So why is this still news? I can hypothesize, right? It's news because it's a tragedy, and bad news are the really the only news that the media cares about. I imagine the mainstream media must be loving this whole pandemic period, right? Everyone's stuck inside with little else to do but to read the papers online, right? And the constant emphasis on how yet another surge could be right around the horizon is just total BS clickbait. Yes, I'm even putting the New York Times on blast for the same exact tactic, right? Why don't I ever read about how fewer people are dying because of COVID, right? Because it's bad for business if people aren't getting more and more paranoid. <laughs> but in conclusion, right? I always want to end things on a high note, right? It's not all bad news. After all, the constant BS from the media very, uh, about like variant 4 or variant 15 or the future inevitable of variant 20 does have one silver lining, right? You can watch the knee-jerk reaction tank the stock market every time and put equities on sale. Yes, fire sale. It's awesome. I love how predictable human beings are. So I guess maybe the various variants do matter if you like buying stocks slightly cheaper. <laughs> All tangents aside, is there anyone out there that still changes their behavior uh, and swerve constantly due to what they read about in the news about the variants of COVID? I sure hope not, okay? Because let me be clear, 100k infections in a country the size of 300 million people is a very small number, okay? By the way, infection doesn't mean anything these days, okay? 100k infection might be like, I don't know, like 1k hospitalized. This is a ridiculously small number, okay? We human beings cannot stay cooped up forever. So just go outside again, okay? Do stuff. It's okay. As long as you have your vaccine, of course, right? You should be fine. Jesus Lord. I am so over this thing. All right. Cheers. I'll approach it.